Sweet, sweet Gregors, happy birthday, happy big 4-0. I cannot believe today is here. I feel like we've chatted about this day for such a long time and it's, it's crazy how quickly time flies. But I hope your birthday is off to a great start here in Moab. I hope that this has been a fun and new adventure for you because I know you love adventures because what do we do? We say yes to new adventures. But I also really wanted to wish you a happy birthday and let you know how much I love you and appreciate you. You are such an amazing person and I truly feel blessed that I met you so many years ago and I get to spend my life with you. I cherish you, I love you, and I'm wishing you the best birthday yet. But as much as I love you, there are people all around the world that love you. And I think you're gonna wanna hear what they have to say. Greg Collins, happy birthday! Happy birthday. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Greg. Greg. Hope you have a fantastic day. Happy birthday. Enjoy happy your 40th. It's all the best, mate. You. The Silver Fox, you're becoming an old man. We love Hope you. Have the best happy day ever. Happy birthday. <laughs> to we'll, we'll cut that out. <laughs> happy 40th birthday, Greg. Have a good one. Greg Collins, my dear friend. Um, I was trying to think where I should take you in Sydney and then um, I decided to bring you to Sydney Uni. I don't know how much you can see behind me but I am in front of the it's called, I think, Mariston building. Um, so I've brought you here on this ridiculously miserable rainy day um, to wish you a very happy 40th. Um, it is almost, I think, almost 10 years that we would have known each other. Um, you're one of my dearest friends and um, it's a shame that we can't hug on um, on your special um, birthday. 40 is a huge milestone and you have managed to live and achieve so much and I'm incredibly proud of you for uh, being the man that you are and the friend that you are. And I would like to wish you keep shining bright and um, only going upwards and forwards in everything that you do both in your personal life and in your work life um, I love you dearly my my beautiful friend I'm wishing you health I'm wishing you lots of love and for us to meet up somewhere after all this um, stupid COVID shit um, is over but most of all um, never lose hope and always stay Grat Collins and always launch Love you. Bye. Hi, love. Happy, happy birthday. Maddie wishes she could be here on your special day. She misses you. Hi, Greg. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a wonderful one. Hey, man. Happy birthday, bro. Happy Big 40, okay? I hope I'll see you soon. All right. Enjoy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. My favorite Aussie. Greg, happy birthday to you. Happy 40th birthday. Greg, oh my goodness. You you don't look a day over 39. Um, so I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday all the way from Smyrna, Tennessee, where I met you for the first time and it was just a life-changing experience to talk to a real Australian and then become friends with an Australian and then go out to eat with an Australian and hang out and then that one of my bestest friends from all of time is dating an Australian okay so you know I'm not very good at birthday videos but um, I do love you so much and I'm so um, thankful that you were born and that you were brought to the wonderful um, Alexander Balkum and you have just lightened all of our lives and you're just such a wonderful person and there's a million things I could probably say um, but I know there's a lot of other people that are saying some um, things to you today too so I just hope that you enjoy your day and that you um, just soak it all in how wonderful you are and what an impact that I know you've made on so many lives just by being you and your sweet um, personality that just um, kind of magnetizes us all to you. So 
Greg, um, happy birthday, 40 years old. You, you're looking great. <laughs> Come back, visit, or I need to get up there to Denver to see you guys. And yep, yeah, just I hope you celebrate today and know how much you deserve all the well wishes coming your way. All right, happy, happy birthday, Greg. Hi, I'm coming to you live from the 13th floor of the Meriton Apartments, Bondi Junction. First up, I want to say congratulations, Greg Collins, on your 40th birthday, and the Pearl family wishes you a brilliant 40th birthday. The reason I'm filming from here is because I have Sydney in the background, and this film is going to introduce a series of short films that showcases Greg Collins' life in Sydney. And more specifically, we're going to be looking at how Greg Collins became the most known unknown man in Sydney. J-Bomb here. Um, as you can see, we're in a mountain men jersey. Uh, I'm not sure if you know about mountain men. You probably don't. It's a... Um, we haven't seen you around lately. It's a 30 to 39 league, uh, played on Golden on Sundays. Um, I think you used to be a part of it. I'm not sure if you're eligible anymore, but um, other things that you probably don't know are um, you know, eating salads for dinner, being under 200 pounds, beating J-Bomb in a race without a handicap, and of course, your 30s. So happy birthday, Hawk, and uh, I hope 40 is just as good as your 30s, and you have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Happy 40th birthday, Greg. Happy birthday, Greg. Enjoy your special day in the year ahead. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, bud. Hi, Greg. Happy 40th birthday. Wishing we were there with you to celebrate. Happy birthday, Greg. Hope you have an awesome day, awesome party. And you can hear our children in the background. <laughs> All right, see you. See you later. Hello, friend. Somebody told me it was your birthday. And not just any birthday, but the big 4-0. So I just wanted to give you a little sage advice, as El Capitan likes to do with all the mountain men, being the elder statesman, being the mentor, being the guru, the guide. Food is going to be richer. Drinks will go down smoother. Sex is going to be better. Well, wait. I really don't know how your sex life is, so I guess I really can't comment on that for you. But it'll likely be shorter. Anyways, buddy, I just wanted to say happy birthday. It's been fantastic getting to know you, spending some great moments with you, rescuing you from traffic when you're playing Frogger out on the streets after having one too many, trying to avoid people slipping things in your drinks, having way too many sloppy joes, dumping water all over your head, and just all the other revelry that we get into as mountain men. Seeing you on the pitch this year might be a little bit different. You might need a walker, uh, maybe a cane. You know, you just never know how 40 is going to affect you. But honestly, buddy, I'm really excited to have you joining the 4040 Club with me here. 40 is a great year. You're going to enjoy it. I've enjoyed it. And I truly do look forward to 40 more with you, bud. Cheers. Here's to you, Hawk. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Greg. And Chuck, Bruce Willis, <laughs> Dad, Richard Gear. We hope you have a great day. Um, and we look forward to uh, celebrating with you when you come back to Australia. See ya. Bye. Um, mate, I heard it was your birthday and when Ali told me it was your 40th, I was absolutely shocked. I actually thought it was your 50th, especially the way you move out in the pitch. Um, but obviously since you've uh, you know, taken on the, the dust diet, your, your weight's dropped, you're looking a little quicker out there than you were before. So I guess it makes sense that it could be your 40th. Um, mate, you know, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Obviously, um, you know, we've, we've got to know each other a lot over the years, um, you know, especially now that we've been playing soccer together. Uh, obviously, we regard you as a good mate and, you know, love the banter that we've got. Um, it's always a good laugh. And I do enjoy playing, you know, golf with you and having a, a good laugh out in the, in the golf course with, uh, you know, after you've had about 15 beers. But no, mate, it was, uh, you know, I wish you all the best. Um, obviously, you're celebrating with Ali somewhere and, um, you know, hopefully we can get together as a mountain men group and, and celebrate your, your 40th, apparently. Um, but, it mate, uh, have a good one and, and I wish you all the best. Happy birthday. Just wanted to say happy birthday. Ooh, ooh, birthday. Ooh, ooh. My 
if you have the best day ever and get spoiled rotten, we know you will. Ali, good girl. Um, Billy said happy birthday also as well, but he's at work. So enjoy your day, have the best year, and love you lots. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Choco Greg. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chuck. Hey, good day, Greggy. Happy 40th. Guess got some company here with me. Greggy. Greggy. Gregory Peck. <laughs> We're reminiscing the old times, uh, unfortunately. Chasing uh, taxis, biting license plates. Unfortunately, unfortunately, dogs can't do the old tooth trick uh, because it's all fixed now. <laughs> anyway, I hope, yes. I hope you're going to be having a great time in Moab. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. We're wishing you all the best for the big day. Happy 40th, Gregory. I didn't think you were ever going to make it. <laughs> Beyond those gay clothes you used to wear all the time and all the rest. But no! Happy birthday. I hope Ali's treating you to a wonderful uh, birthday weekend away. Can't wait to meet you all and see you all in person. And uh, Whenever girls, that might be. Yeah, whenever, whenever that might be. be. Happy 40th, Greg. Have a good one. Happy birthday, Greg. And I swear to God, you're older than 40, though. That's a <laughs> fake passport. C congratulations on that achievement. Yes. <laughs> Guys, have an amazing time. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Entrepreneur, philanthropist, businessman, ambassador of all Australians, Greg Collins, wishing you the very happiest of birthdays. Well, get a hawk. This is Mountain Kiwi here. Just checking in, mate. Uh, mate, I, I heard we're doing a bit of a shout out for your birthday. Um, you're not going to see Kiwi do any gimmicky, um, you know, pour a whiskey on the rocks, get a cigar. Like Capitan, um, mate, you know, like Hawk, Kiwi's an elite athlete. Um, it's just going to be pure from the heart. Um, but, mate, in all seri seriousness, um, happy big 4 0 to you, mate. What, what an achievement. Um, you know, it's, uh, mate, I remember back in the days, back to 2014, I think we both moved to the US um, in a pretty big part of our lives. Um, yeah, moving forward, it's always good to have a brother from down under uh, to support through the American journey. Um, man, I still remember back to the day when uh, I called you. I think you were in Vietnam at the time, and I, and I asked you if you wanted to to play some outdoor outdoor football. Um, I think you're a little bit tentative to begin with, um, but we we convinced you there, and uh, mate, we we showed up for our first game at Dick's for the lads, uh, a, you know, a subsidiary of of Mountain Men. Um, mate, and what a what a performance! I think mate, I think two minutes in, we're we're sucking in the big ones, and not the sort of sucking in the big ones. Um, but mate, it was it was <laughs> it was a hilarious game. Uh, I think we took an absolute beating. Uh, Hawk uh, obviously just missed penalty off the post. Uh, just an absolute scuff. Uh, Kiwi had a great back pass the opposition to put them in for for a goal, and then uh, gave away a penalty as well. Just Absolute storm performance. The good thing is, mate, is it was all uphill from there. Uh, we've gone on to since win a championship for Mountain Men. And, uh, mate, I must have I do, you know, with the whole lockdown stuff, I've really missed getting out on the pitch with you and the lads. Um, they really enjoy that and look forward to that uh, on Sunday nights. Um, but, mate, we've been through a lot of ups and downs uh, in our time here. Um, I remember, and I do miss our froths every morning at backstage, meeting on level one, heading down. Uh, meeting up with Hipster, finding out about his long-lost cousins like Gil. Um, but now it's always good times. When, uh, but, mate, I'm pretty sure we kept that, that backstage company in business. Uh, obviously, since since Kiwi and Hawk invested in the Breville uh, espresso machine, uh, you know, obviously, you know, backstage is now out of business. Um, anyway, mate, uh, cheers to your 40th. Uh, looking forward to celebrating with, with you guys. Uh, sounds like you, you and Ali got, got a good time planned in Moab. Um, definitely got the best decade uh, ahead, mate. Um, looking forward to hearing of your, uh, you know, you got, you got a lot of exciting things going on there. So looking forward to hear how that goes. Um, but yeah, let's link up soon. Anyway, mate, uh, happy birthday once again. Uh, looking forward to getting back on the pitch with you. This is uh, Kiwi Elmer.
Happy birthday, Greg. Hope you have a great day. Welcome back. I'm standing here on the main walkway of the University of Sydney. Now, the University of Sydney has a special place in the heart of Greg Collins. He achieved his postgraduate degree at Sydney Uni. But not only that, he dedicated himself to Sydney Uni with his service. Now, I'm going to run through quickly the service achievements that Greg Collins did here, but it's all about selflessness for Greg Collins. He started out as a mentor for overseas students. He would go above and beyond to make sure that all overseas students were comfortable and they knew where they were going and what they needed to do to achieve their personal best at Sydney University. Greg Collins also dev devoted his time to the University of Sydney soccer team. He devoted his time firstly as a player and social organiser and then as a coach where he bravely put his body through hell to give his best for the University of Sydney and to help all his teammates and players that he represented as part of the University of Sydney soccer team. Top of the morning, Greg. Happy birthday, man. Have a bloody good birthday, mate. Happy birthday, Greg. Welcome back. I'm coming to you live from the Golden Fang restaurant in Broadway. If you look at Greg Collins' diary on a Monday or Tuesday nights, they were the quieter parts of his diary, but he still used the Golden Fang and other establishments close by to help entertain his university friends and colleagues. He loved the Golden Fang. He'd get, he could get himself a $6 rice with chicken. Now, if you walk down further with me, over here we have the Lansdowne Hotel. Now, this is another favorite of Greg Collins, the $5 steak. Now, you could find him down here, as I said, on a Monday and Tuesday night, entertaining the university crowds and imparting his knowledge and experience and expertise to help them with their help them with their coursework and help them with their greater lives. Well done, Greg Collins. It's Greg Day. Woo! Happy birthday, Greg. Hope Moab is amazing. See you guys when you get back. Tequila shots on me. Happy birthday. Cheers to 40. Welcome back. We come now to Wednesday. I'm standing outside the Grandstand Hotel at Sydney University Oval Number no. 1. Now, this was a favourite Wednesday night hangout for Greg Collins. Greg Collins used to come here on a Wednesday night to typically hang with his friends who were boarders at Sydney Uni. These people were from St Paul's College, St Andrews College, Wesley College and the Women's College. Now he used to come here and get perspectives about people from the country and how they were settling into life at Sydney University. Ready? Ready guys? the grounds of Wesley College at Sydney University. One Wednesday night, Greg Collins gave me a late call and said, you have to come to a party at Wesley College. I got in my car and I came to this Wednesday night party and it was a superb party, all put together by Greg Collins. Now you can see the door in the background behind me. I left this party late on Wednesday night. I went through that front door and I ended up setting off the major alarm system which woke, ended up waking up all of Wesley College. Now, I apologise to the, to the students of Wesley College who were at Wesley College during that. Hi, Greg. Captain America here, Sydney Department, wishing you a happier 40th birthday, buddy. You're a hero, you're a champion, and you're a good bloke. Happy 40th. We're outside the Greenwood Tavern in North Sydney. You can still see the famous chapel in the background. When you looked at Greg Collins' diary, Monday to Sunday, Thursday nights were Greenwood Tavern nights. Greg Collins was literally here every Thursday night, meeting up with his mainly North Sydney based friends for a drink and a dance and some great happy conversation. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Gregory Collins, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Greginski. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you Welcome soon. Welcome back. I'm now standing at the former site of the Cabana Bar at St. Leonard's. It is now a daycare centre, so the times do move forward. But the Thursday nights at the Cabana Bar were fantastic in 2005. The venue enjoyed a Thursday night resurgence and Greg Collins was part of it. Greg Collins was part of the Thursday night resurgence at the Cabana Bar 
which was short-lived to about 2005, didn't go on, but from 2000, early 2005 to mid-2005, Greg Collins routinely chose the Cabana Bar over the very popular Greenwood Tavern at North Sydney. And at the Cabana Bar, he met up with a lot of these North Sydney-based friends. How are you? Happy birthday. day. Hope you have a beautiful day. This is a lovely surprise. And um, we send you virtual hugs, and hopefully we reunite in Peru. We come to looking at the Friday nights of Greg Collins. I'm standing here outside at the cargo bar, or what used to be the cargo bar. This business has been closed down for a couple of years now, probably because Greg Collins is no longer there to push business their way. There was a time during the mid 2000s where everybody in town used to come to cargo on a Friday night to meet Greg Collins after work. And we're not talking about cargo bar downstairs, we're not talking about that, we're talking about upstairs. Now this is where you want to be. You used to, you used to walk up here and your night would either be, your night would either happen or it wouldn't happen depending on what the security guard would say. But either let, let, they'd either let you in or they'd turn you away. Now our good friend Harpreet Singh, he once was turned away by a security guard and got into a verbal argument with the security guard. Now for the subsequent Friday, every Friday night subsequently to that, he would come into cargo upstairs pretty early and then he would have to hide because if that security guard saw him, uh, he'd be evicted straight away like Big Brother. Unfortunately, every Friday night would always end with Harpreet being seen by that one particular security guard and the security guard used to look at Harpreet, point to the door and Harpreet used to slowly just go and walk out. But Cargo Bar was Greg Collins' Friday night and this is where he really established his reputation as the most known unknown man in Sydney. Oh, happy birthday, buddy, the big 4-0. We uh, wish we could be there to celebrate with you. Happy birthday, mate. Miss you. Yeah, take care, man. I'm standing outside the Soho Bar and YU Nightclub, which used to be very popular in King's Cross. We entered the King's Cross part of the Greg Collins diary. Now, Greg Collins used to frequent King's Cross mainly on a Saturday night and occasionally on a Sunday. Now, I, loved, I wanted to do the Soho Bar because there's a story I want to tell from the Soho Bar. We once arrived here for a party it was Greg Collins, Steve Angeloff, Matt Percy, and I. We got here early, and we decided to go up to the Soho bar. There was literally nobody upstairs. So Matt Percy got behind the bar and started pouring us drinks. So on behalf of Soho, thank you very much. We had a couple of free drinks. And then when security came up, Matt Percy was able to get other patrons in trouble, and we were able to quietly sneak out the door. So well done, Matt Percy. Happy birthday, Greg. I hope you and Ali have a wonderful time celebrating. And thank you, Ali, for taking the time to get us all to do these videos and put them together. Greg's so lucky to have found you. And Greg, I'm so glad that you turned down Jennifer Hawkins at that King's Cross bar and found someone so much better. We love having Ali in our family and hope to see you guys in person really soon. Take care. We are standing outside of One Earl's Court. Now, this place is a fitness club, but at one point in time, this place used to be where Greg Collins would end up late on a Saturday night. It used to be known as Dragonfly. It used to be one of the coolest nightclubs in Sydney, and Greg Collins was a major fixture here as the most known unknown man in Sydney. We used to line up here, and then we used to separate from each other because we didn't want to have too many guys together. We used to separate here, and then we used to come up to the door, and there used to be some guy called Cornelius, of all names, and he used to say to us, how many in your party? And I used to say, just one, just me, here we go. And Greg Collins would say, just one, and then we'd wean in, and we'd go inside the dragon fly, and then we'd dance the rest of Saturday nights away, until about three or four in the morning, and then we'd make it home. But Greg Collins really was a fixture here. A lot of great people in Sydney came here, and the reason they arrived here was so they could be in the company of the most known unknown man in Sydney. Happy birthday. Have a nice birthday. So happy hey, birthday Griff. from Australia. Happy birthday from Australia. I hope you will have a good birthday and get good presents. Happy birthday, Greg. Hope you have an amazing 40th birthday and enjoy living a great life through America. 
Happy 40th, Greg. We really miss you. We've been thinking of you guys over in the States and hope everything's well. Sending you the best of wishes and all the very best for a happy and long future. We are standing outside the site of the former Hugo's Lounge. Greg Collins and I used to walk up these steps. We used to present our Hugo's Lounge membership cards. Then we used to go and enjoy either Saturday night or Sunday. Greg Collins was known to be here either on a Sunday night, early around 10 o'clock to about 12 o'clock before he went to the Dragon, or on a Sunday. Now, on a Sunday, Hugo's Lounge used to have an hour from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. where you used to get free food and drink, right? So we used to have, Greg used to have this Norwegian friend called Glenn, who used to love to come to Hugo's on a Sunday night, because he used to come here and said, oh, I love it here, more food and drink. That's right, Hugo's lunch to be more food and drink. And Glenn loved it, and we loved Hugo's. We love what it's about. We love the drinks, we love the music, we love the cool image, and we love being members. It was fantastic. Happy birthday to you. He almost, he almost, almost uh, fell over and you had to hold him up. He was so uh, excited. He waited 72 years for a grandson. Well, not that long, but you know, at so least. We're, we're saying all these things whilst the person that's holding the camera is your sister. So she's going to want to know what exciting things happened when she was born. But anyway, let's move on. Yeah. But anyway, sweetheart, uh, gosh, turning 40, it's not like it used to be. It's a pretty young age these days. Still it's heaps you can do. Especially when your grandfather um, survived to 103, so you've got another 60-odd years to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we also saw where there could be a new constellation, and you may not be a Leo. You actually might be a Cancer. <laughs> It's a worry. Cancer <laughs> of the crap. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we have all the stars aligned for you. Everything falls into place. Wonderful opportunities will come your way. Great friends. You'll be happy. Have a wonderful life. Mm -hmm. That's all we could wish for. We love you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and your dad loves you too. <laughs> Sometimes. So have a really, really wonderful celebration and we'll open a bottle of wine, won't we, Christine? <laughs> <laughs> 
This is Catherine. <laughs> yeah. So we'll celebrate. Wish we could be with you, but we'll be celebrating yeah. in spirit. Love okay. you, sweetheart. Uh, behave yourself. Talk to you on the 1st of August, Sydney time. Mm. His Australian yeah. birthday. That's right. We don't. We'll, we'll do the Australian date. Yes, that's what's important to us. And cut. I agree. Have a happy birthday. We've been thinking of this for about a week. And I finally, finally got you. We were wondering when you might be coming home again. Wish it was for your birthday. But we can't have everything. Not. I'm trying to think of something else to say now, Greg, but I can't. I keep falling back to the birthday. I'm going to miss you, Greg. I'm going to miss the weekend activities on the soccer field. And I hope that you get a chance to maybe get a game over in the States. And I hope you have a lovely celebration with the, your friends. And... Uh, Love you and talk to you soon. Love you and I'll talk to you soon. Looking forward to seeing you back. Wow, how great were those messages? Such sweet words, birthday wishes, and really great memories that I hope you enjoyed listening to and reliving for a moment. But the point of that was to really show you and remind you that you are so loved and you are thought so highly of from so many people. You're an inspiration, you're so special. I love you, they love you, and all we want is for you to be happy, healthy, and enjoy life. So let's get the festivities going and finish celebrating you on this beautiful day. I love you.